There's more to being saved than missing hell. Right. Yeah. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Uh, we've got our work cut out for us, and, and there's adversity and uh, all of that. But God's people ought to be the happiest people Amen. under the canopy of heaven. We're the only folks got any reason at all uh, to be happy. And yet there's so many that murmur and complain and gripe and belly. You know, spend all their time telling you what they gave up to become a Christian. I have a, one of my granddaughters is, uh, oh, she's older now. She's older. She's got four kids anyway. But when she turned 16, she thought she had acquired the wisdom of the world. I just thought maybe mine was the only one. And so I sat down and talked to her one day, and, and I, you know, I was giving her a, a gentle papa straightening out. And I said, now, Susan, here's what you don't do, and here's what you don't do, and here's what you don't do, and here's what you do, and here's what you do. And I got through with all of that, and she looked at me and said, oh, papa, build a bridge. I said, what? She said, build a bridge and get over it. <laughs> so if you'll take it if you'll take it right tonight and not get all bent out of shape at me uh, if, if you're if you're over there in that murmuring complaining sad Christian bunch build a bridge Amen. and get over it and the only way you can do that is through this book Amen. they're giving away to everybody and promoting to everybody and, and, and the Bible's quite quite explicit in it you know uh, you, you can read in the Psalms over and over and over, where whatsoever thou doest shall prosper. You, you, you can read in the Bible in Psalm 35, 27, where the Lord hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. Uh, you, you can read in the Bible, uh, the God of heaven, he will prosper us. But you have to go to the Bible to find stuff like that, you see. And over in Ephesians 3.20, there's that old verse that we go to so often. Listen to it again. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. Wouldn't it be a marvelous thing if that were true? Yeah. <laughs> hmm? So you, 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 wouldn't have to, you wouldn't have to go to pleading with people to send Bibles. If they really thought that somebody could turn in the Bible and find someone who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we could ask or even think, according to the power that worketh in us. So it's, it's just an amazing book and an amazing thing. And uh, uh, we just don't need any pessimist. No, no, no excuses. I, I, I love to hear years ago, the, the, the black lady that sang on Billy Graham's program, uh, Ethel Waters, I think it was. Uh, she, she had the, she had one of the neatest things. Just, you know, she always sung his eyes on the sparrow. So why should I feel discouraged? Or why should the shadow why should my heart be lonely away from heaven and home when Jesus my portion, my constant friend is He. For His eye is on the sparrow. And I know he watches me. His eye is on the sparrow. And I know. Thank you.
watches me. So I sing because I'm happy. Oh yes, I sing. Before I say again, you better believe that. <laughs>